So this chapter has two messages. One is to Joshua and the children of Israel, and it goes like this. God tells Joshua that he is old, but there's still a lot of the promised land left to conquer. So God says that he will drive out the current people in all of these lands, and then the tribes will be free to inhabit them. So that's the first message. The second message can be found when we understand that every book and chapter of the Bible is an opportunity to see and learn the heart of God. See, like Joshua, God sees us in our helpless state, so God does what we cannot do. He fought our battle. He overcame sin and death. In other words, God did his part. Now we have the free will to walk in these fulfilled promises. The tribes and the chapters and books to follow are a symbol to us of stewarding God's promises. Some were fruitful and multiplied, and some weren't. Some fully inhabited the land, and some allowed the old people and cultures to remain, which later would become a shame to the nation, much like sin in our lives. So the question remains for us today. Will we walk and inhabit all the promises God has given us? The New Testament says it like this in Colossians 3. Work willingly at whatever you do, as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward, and that the master you are serving is Christ.